We're gonna go ahead and unbox this juicer right now. It's a slow something juicer. I don't know how to say that. Well, at least I don't think I do. So that is uh, what it looks like. And we've got, this one has a little cleaner brush too. We're just gonna leave it in the plastic because we don't need that yet. I like like how compact this particular one is because it's super small. I find that the, these really make a good, um, good like any, anything this size because I don't have one, this one like particularly yet, like this size, but this size like blender, I really like because it's just such a little like space it takes up. And my little personal blenders work amazingly for how small they are. So I'm super excited about this particular one because it's so small. So let's take a look at this. Let me move that off the screen so we have a little bit more room here. All right, so how are we gonna open this without ripping all the stuff off? Okay, it's really nice. It's lightweight. It's kind of got like a shine to it. And this is actually like, it, it's like black, but it kind of can be like a dark blue almost just because the way the light's hitting it. But I'm pretty sure that's just the way the light's hitting it because I don't remember getting it in a dark blue. Maybe I did get it in a dark blue because it's got a bluish, I think it's a, like a bluish color. Yeah, it's like a dark blue color. It's really pretty. And I don't know if it shows up on the screen for you. Let's see, can you see that? Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can really see it now. See, it's a really dark blue, really pretty. All right, gorgeous color on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the rest. Okay, so this is the top. It is so cute. And it's got this little like nozzle thing that you pull up. Okay, here we go. All right, ta-da. And then you can put that in the top there. Oh wait, it's got two containers, I think. All right, so we got this container. I don't know why I'm putting this packaging stuff over here when I can just throw it in this big bin that I have over here. So let me just move that. All right, I don't know, what is, Two containers maybe? No. Oh, I guess that's maybe the top. Let's see. Let's see how you put this thing together. Okay, so, oops. <laughs> Don't let that happen to you. All right, it looks like it just goes right on. So that's pretty simple. Of course, I could be looking at the directions, but yeah, it just goes right on there. <laughs> well, that's easy. And then you got a big button here and you can turn on reversed. It looks like reverse and on. Very sleek, very nice looking. It doesn't seem to lock on there. Let's see, maybe maybe you had to lock it on somehow. Yeah, it's a, it shows a lock and unlock right there. So somehow I guess I would lock it in place. Let's see if I can figure that out. I don't know if I can figure that out right now, but there is a way to lock it somehow. I had to like, let's see. Let's see if I can get this thing to lock. I don't know guys, I'm trying. How do you lock this thing in place? I have no clue. All right, well, it seems to be on there. <laughs> it's got this little spout, which is super cute. So this one, it looks like it does two things, because I've got this and this. Oh, you know what? This is the pulp container. Okay, so this is where the pulp comes out of. So then you have your pulp. And you know you can cook with the pulp. Like, I never actually thought about that, like putting it in different things, especially if it's like carrots or something. You can make like carrot bread or carrot muffins. So, or zucchini, or there's so many things you can make. Like, I've never tried that. I gotta definitely try that. 
Uh, but you've got the juice container here, so just make sure that you obviously lift that up when you're getting the juice out. And then you've got that there. This is a very, very small top, obviously. <laughs> I mean, look how little this thing is. And you press down your, you know, your ingredients. So you're going to have to slice them really small. Or if you do celery, you're literally only going to be able to do one stick at a time. But again, look how compact this is. All right, this is something you could actually travel with because it's so small. Now, how to get this top off, I'm not really sure yet. So let's figure that out. Uh, it says open the cover of residue before cleaning. I guess that's this or this. Oh, look, you can open this. So I guess you open this. Oh, yeah, look at that. You got a little flap there, so I guess you have to open that so this stuff comes out too. I imagine, you know, all these little little caps are for like if you want to store it or traveling. Cause this, like I said, I could definitely see this being used for traveling. Now, how you get the back off? Again, not really sure, and how to lock this in? I'm not really sure. It, I just found that it has this little black edge, and it's got this little thing to put it in there. I think that has something to do with locking it. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. No, nope. well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'll have to experiment with it. But I think so. I mean, because it seems like it's more sturdy on there now. Obviously, you can still pull it off pretty, like, pretty easily. But it just seems like it's not moving once you do that. Okay. So it looks like that's what you do with that. And then how to get this off to get cleaned? I'm not really sure. Let's twist it. Yep, you just twist it. So you twist it and then it pops right open. That looks super easy to clean. Obviously it does come with the little brush, so use that. And the blade is actually, is it metal? Yeah, it's metal, it just looks plastic because it matches the plastic inside there. So then you would just go ahead and use your brush and scrub it in there. Uh, so this blade is totally different than the ones we've already looked at that are more of a flat blade. This is actually like a regular blade. All right, so it'd be really interesting to see how this thing performs, which we'll actually do another video on. So I'm super excited to actually test this because I could actually see me going on vacation with this or putting this in my RV. Uh, well, technically, you know, taking it in my RV for vacation, but I could definitely see this as, you know, hey, I still want to, you know, do my juicing and just have something that is not as big as like a full size machine to take with me because this is super compact. Like I imagine you can probably even, yeah, go like that and then just store it like in a drawer or something. You could even put it uh, in a cabinet, you know, and you can even take this top off. Like, so say if you need some space. You can even take the top off because it's almost the same size as that and then just store it just like that look at that isn't that cute all right guys so this is the unboxing of this particular juicer and i hope you enjoy this product if this is the one that you end up purchasing today and uh, enjoy it it is super cute like i can't wait till you come back and tell me how you like it on future videos. That's super cute, guys. Enjoy this blender. 